What's up you guys? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Roman Gonzalez. I am a 23 year old filmmaker based out of Los Angeles, California. Uh, Roman wasn't built in a day on Instagram if you want to check that out. But real quick I wanted to talk to you guys today about my handy dandy glide cam um, and how to go about setting it up. A lot of people uh, you know, like to use glide cam as what I prefer. Uh, you know, a, a two-axis gimbal over a three-axis gimbal it gives me a little bit more control. Um, and you know, at the end of the day, there's no batteries, so I will go ahead and put out a separate video talking about gimbal versus glide cam and the pros and cons and all that. But for now, I just want to talk to you about how to balance a glide cam. So, on the glide cam, there is right here what's called a cheese plate. Go ahead and uh, rip this bad boy off for you. So the glide cam, when you purchase it, whether it's the HD 2000 or the HD 4000 or any of the glide cam models, it's going to come with oh, what's called a cheese plate, which is this plate right here. Um, now, normally, if if you uh, get the glide cam, it's just coming as stock. You've got a bolt that you can, you can put in any of the holes on the cheese plate, screws right into your camera, right? Now, you want to get it on your camera. I mean, you want to get the cheese plate. Once you get your camera on the cheese plate, you want to get your cheese plate onto the glide cam. Now, me personally, um, I have just find it a huge waste of time and a huge pain um, having to basically recalibrate, uh, basically move, move around your camera every time you put a new lens on it, every time you do anything. Um, so to keep it kind of in the same spot, what I did is I put, I bought an extra Manfrotto plate, um, which puts it on here, which uh, mounts, I'm sorry, the Manfrotto plate mounts right into the cheese plate, um, so that way I can just put this uh, shoe, little shoe on my camera, slides in, slide, slides out, super quick and easy, I can switch between handheld and glide cam with, you know, just a couple seconds in between, right? So. Coming down to the weights, I usually am running my camera, I'm recording with my camera right now, but usually I'm running my Canon M50 with a Sigma 18 to 35 on it. Uh, because it's a little bit front heavy, the lens is a lot heavier than the camera. Um, what I did is I put a little bit more weight on the back end than the front end, uh, that way to keep it, you'll keep it stable. So basically, uh, what you want to do to balance your, your uh, glide cam is once you have your camera on top of it, um, I'm not going to do it right now because I keep this balanced uh, a certain way and I don't want to mess it up. But once you put your camera on here, stack some weights. If you have a really, really light setup, if your setup is less than one or two pounds, um, you really don't even need weights on here. Just maybe one set of weights, if that. Um, if you're shooting with a really light camera. But essentially you just want to tip it over and it's going to fall kind of fast for me, but you want it to take about one to two, three seconds uh, to fall once you have it on there. If it's falling too fast, then you need to take off weight. If it's not falling fast enough, then uh, you need to fix that. So uh, <clears throat> once you have that side balanced, you're going to want to balance this uh, side to side right here. So on the sides, there are knobs. Uh, you can twist these knobs right here on the side to move your plate forward, backwards, or left or right. And you do that until your glide cam stops tilting side to side and it stays pretty much perfectly still. Uh, it is very difficult to get it exactly right, but you want to get it as close as you can to being balanced. Um, once you have your glide cam balanced, the way that you want to hold it properly uh, when you're shooting is you want to put the weight on this right here, this handle, and then you want to use this handle to keep it steady, right? So it's kind of, it takes a lot of practice, um, you know, just getting it right. A gimbal definitely is easier to get smooth shots right out the bat with less practice. Um, but for me, this gives a more uh, handheld, a more, I'm sorry, not handheld, a more human movement. Uh, you're not going to get those little glitch twitches from the machine uh, and stuff like that, but you do need to put some in some more effort into uh, you know moving around and keeping it steady. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's how you use a glide cam once it's set up. You put all your weight, 
all the weight right here on this handle and you use this one uh, to guide it. So, boom, boom. You get the picture. Go ahead and check out my music videos for uh, you know some examples of shots I use on Glide Cam. I pretty much shoot all my music videos uh, on Glide Cam, all those wide panning shots, and then the shaky ones I do on handheld. So uh, thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative enough for you. Um, go ahead and give me a follow on Instagram. Shoot me a DM. Roman wasn't built in a day. I look at all my DMs. I try to respond to as many people as I can. Um, and make sure you guys subscribe to this channel as well so we can keep bringing out uh, some good content for you guys. Appreciate you and I'll talk to you later.